Ladies and gentlemen, Young Casey Jr. here. Um, state of Southern African hip hop at the moment. I'm not happy with uh, Back to the City Festival's lineup on the 12th of October in South Africa. Well, you cannot have a festival that carries the name of African hip hop and not include Southern African hip hop artists like Holy Tan from Zimbabwe, J Cash from Zambia, C4 Pedro from Angola, um, artists like William Last from, from Botswana, artists like KP Illist. Uh, from Namibia, Gwamba from Malawi. Well, we need to have an all-inclusive lineup. I'm quite happy with uh, the way uh, Hennessy has been so consistent in terms of putting in resources into this festival. But we really need to look into 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 putting and endorsing Southern African hip hop artists on that lineup. And South Africa is not Southern Africa. That's one thing that needs to be out there. South Africa is not Southern Africa. South, South African hip hop is not Southern African hip hop. There's a difference. And um, the artists I mentioned, we cannot overlook those. <laughs> That's an embarrassment. That's a disgrace to the culture. We cannot overlook those artists on the lineup. And um, for effect, with that lineup alone, we could have triple the numbers. <laughs> we could be doing 60,000 people <laughs> with those cats. Because, well, numbers don't lie. Look at their numbers. Look at their numbers. And um, the way brands have just been overlooking that, we need to stop this gatekeeping thing. <laughs> South African hip-hop event organizers overlooking Southern Africa as a whole when they have platforms where international brands have, have pumped in resources, uh, we should go towards endorsing the Southern African hip-hop culture as a whole. We cannot overlook those artists. No ways. We need to fix that lineup. We need to fix that lineup. 